Dear students, until now we have discussed that we need to be critical in identifying or discovering the algorithms. However, there are different strategies available in the world which can be used to find the solution of a certain problem and to come up with the algorithm to solve that problem. So, in this module, we will be discussing some of the strategies and those strategies which we will discuss today are two. One is called reverse engineering and the second is called look for related problems. So what is reverse engineering? If you have the exact output which you already have and you have the exact input. So if you want to learn that how this output was constructed or generated and you want to reach to the initial input this means that the steps which you will be following backward those would be placed in the reverse order to become an algorithm so for example you have an input here and you have an output here so you do not need do not know that which steps were followed to reach to this location but you can try to go from this position to backward position so coming to this position and then you can learn over this transition that which steps need to be followed in the reverse order to become the algorithm so this is one of the problem or example which we have already discussed in one of the previous modules uh, the paper folding uh, to make the bird so let's see that if you have such a problem that you have the paper and you have come up with the bird so then to understand the algorithm that how paper was converted to the bird you need to unfold the bird to this to this to this to this and so on and going on the backward direction you can reach over here and then you can learn over the period of time that what step was followed to make this as this thing and to make this as this thing as to make this thing as this thing and so on so this is basically one strategy of reverse engineering and that is applicable when you know that what is the exact output and what is the exact input and you want to go from output to the input so then the next strategy is look for the related problems and this is basically this technique is a particular value in the context of program development so when you want to develop your program then normally nowadays you need to learn that what different strategies are available in the world normally you are not going to discover the algorithm or the program nowadays whatever you want to do nowadays you try to identify the related programs and algorithms which are available openly in the market and then you are using that algorithm to solve the similar problem you have so program development is not the process of solving a particular instance of problem but rather of finding a general algorithm this is very important let's have an example of it so for example if you have these four names Abida, Umar, Ahmed and Aisha and you want to sort them so for example first procedure would be that you need to put Ahmed between Abida and Umar so this will become Abida, Ahmed, Umar and then Aisha and the next step would be putting Aisha between Ahmed and Umar so this will become Abida Ahmed Aisha and Umar so first you try to switch or you try to put the third element between first and second so first step was putting third element between first and second and then 
putting last element between second and third put last or fourth between second and third so this was the algorithm that sorted this list however the same algorithm cannot be applied when we have different input can you apply the same procedure for example put third element between first and second can you do it like avas can be put over here khalida rehman avas and vakas so we cannot put avas between khalida and rehman because avas should go before the khalida so this mean to rearrange to sort this name you need to put third one at the first position this mean if we come up with this algorithm this algorithm cannot be applied to the next instance of problem and similarly there could be number of other names which can come you are nowhere to make them properly sorted so this mean you need to find an algorithm which is actually the sorting algorithm and what the sorting algorithm do that sorting algorithm finds the name that is basically that should be come at the first location so it will analyze all of the names and put the name at the first location which is the smallest one lexicographically and then it will keep moving in the same direction so that algorithm can be applied over here and here or any other uh, data or any other instance you find that algorithm can be performed so this mean that we do not try to find the algorithm that is going to solve one particular instance in fact we try to find the related algorithm which can be applied on all of the instances of similar problem for example we covered sorting so this algorithm can be applied on any kind of data in fact this may happen that you are going to sort the name of all pakistanis so you have in crores all of the pakistanis and then you are going to uh, arrange them by name so your algorithm should be able to arrange all of them properly sort them properly in the lexicographical order or in alphabetical order so that algorithm should not be biased or should not be um, should not be only applied on one particular or two particular instances it should be solving generalized problems of that particular shape or procedure